What's good, y'all? It's Drew here, back with another video. All right, today I got a collab with uh, Zage, so why don't you just introduce yourself? Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, my name's Zage. Uh, pleasure to be here. Today we're going to be talking about Eustace Kid, because I feel like Kid is a character that you either love him or you hate him type of character. Before we begin, uh, tell the audience, like, what are your thoughts on Kid? Um, I mean, the first time we seen Kid, I kind of had like, an idea of what type of character he was going to be. Um, the fact that he was the guy with the higher bounty than Luffy and Sabodi was definitely interesting. Um, I like the concept of his character. Uh, he hasn't really been fleshed out like to the max yet. Um, like similar to like Law and Dressrosa, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. As of right now, I'm kind of indifferent, but I do like the concept of his character more than what he's actually shown. So he's got some potential, but I'm just waiting for Oda to like flesh him out, like for real. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say I'm like I'm not a kid super fan, but I definitely would describe myself as a kid fan. He's one of those characters that obviously he was hyped up a lot, and I feel like he hasn't done exactly what we've been waiting for. But like, it's crazy how like people now will act like he's garbage. I was watching Sensei Ink stream, and people were talking about Scratch Man of Pooh could be kid, and it's like, bro, I'm not I'm not saying Scratch Man Pooh not nice, but it's like kid is still fighting Yonko as you know with, with the other guys. What do you think Oda's plan with him is gonna be in the story? Okay, so I can't really say for um, like everything pretty much. Yeah. But one of the things I do think in the future we will see, we will definitely see Kid in the final war. Um, one of the things that we were first like kind of known about Kid um, in Sabodi is kind of like his dislike for the basically the world nobles, the celestial dragons. Yeah. How even compared to himself, who is a guy that you know harms civilians, right? That's what we known about him at the time. He's still viewed the world nobles, the celestial dragons and scum and they're the reason for why the world is in the state that it's in and yeah. he was kind of like jolting to a killer saying that like compared to um, them we're actually pretty cute right like he was making a little yeah. joke yeah so I think his dislike for the world nobles will actually lead to like some sort of fight against them I do think that if the Gorosei are fighters which I do expect them to be I do think you know, some of them have battle scars on them. I do think they've been in the field at least a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I do think one of like his big fights in the final war will probably be against Gorosei. Um, I guess he will still be competitive against Luffy, trying to like best him, but I don't think he'll ever <laughs> get on that level. <laughs> ever really best him for sure. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can really say for Kid in the future. We talk about Kid, you know, because he's so mysterious and we haven't got his backstory yet. You obviously have the theories of Kid and what his relations are. Like, I've obviously I've heard Kid being related to yeah. Shanks, which I don't really know. The, the I mean, besides the red hair, there might not be a lot of credence there. But uh, Kid being related to Shanks, Kid being a Celestial Dragon, Kid being related to Emu. Like, I've, what do you think about and like those type of theories? I think it would actually be better for a Kid backstory based on kind of what I said about um, Kid's opinion of the Celestial Dragons and Sabodi, what he said about them. If that his past is somewhat connected to the celestial dragons like the celestial yeah. dragons hometown affected his family in some way like the world government negatively affected the kid so that he became this like kind of like no i wouldn't want, i don't want to call him evil but not a nice guy basically so like if the celestial dragons and like what they do and what how they affect the world kind of like changed the kid made him the way that he is i yeah. think that would be better than him actually being one of them i think like the whole celestial dragon Plot twist now is going to be a little bit, I think, overdone. If yeah. possibly Shanks is a celestial dragon, Dofu is already yeah, a celestial yeah, dragon. Will, yeah, because yeah, they have these royalties and stuff. Look, you already have connections with like Mihawk and Emu and the eyes yeah. being the same. I wouldn't <laughs> want celestial dragon. I wouldn't want a celestial yeah. dragon a connection. But yeah, like I said, if it was something about um, the world government ruining kids' life, uh, his past. That would that would be great. That would actually like make sense to his motivations, yeah. his opinions of them fighting a Gorosei, like one of them, two of them, maybe you could one be two of them for like uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's kind of how I'm, that's kind of how I'm viewing it. Yeah, talking about Shanks, which I think you brought up uh, vaguely. You know, one of the few things we know with Kid is Kid has pretty much encountered all the Yonko except for like Blackbeard, and one of his yeah. I want to say more lasting <laughs> conflicts was against it was against Shanks. We know that he pulled up to Shanks and bro lost his arm. We assume that Shanks did it because Shanks is kind of the only swordsman there. But we really don't know per se. 
people think that the kid Shanks situation is a lot more serious. Like some people think Kid will come and kill Shanks, which I think is really crazy. But I think that people think that Kid and Shanks have more beef left. So what do you think on that? Okay, so I have heard uh, like the idea of Kid versus Shanks like in the future. Yeah. Or, like Kid killing Shanks or something like that. Um, I don't see that happening. Mainly because the Blackbeard beef and their yeah. whole like rivalry is just so much more prevalent yeah uh kid is like kid and shanks is more so you know kid got big too big for his boots tried to <laughs> take on a yonko too early he got dropped and then got his arm taken that's pretty much what happened i mean you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah yeah to keep it real that's basically what it was there probably there might be i'm not ruling it out there probably there might be a connection uh between kid and shanks but i don't think so i don't think it would be like like especially considering the story is kind of wrapping up we're coming to like the closing stages very soon after wano and stuff i don't think it's going to be kid like beating shanks or yeah. anything like that i think shanks will shanks is downfall will definitely come to black bit <laughs> yeah you know? uh kid obviously we talked about this earlier, after the, the video but kid uh he's the kind of character where he gets a lot of slander and it's kind of turned the other way where like people are acting like he's not strong when like I guess you you actually made a video on this. You said that all the people on the rooftop are all above. Was it? I think you said. I I, I always say pre uh, pre. Act one Luffy. Yeah. Act one. Luffy. Act one Luffy, which is like pre Rio Luffy, I think. Right. That's like yeah. after. Hope. Yeah. yeah. So you made it. Well, basically, oh, they're all the they're all past like the Luffy that beat Cat. Uh, which obviously exactly, yeah. which makes sense because like they all have taken. Like, I think Kid is taking a lot of hits from. He's taking hits from Kaido from Big Mom. Still standing up. They got hit by Big Mom's lightning attack. They survived that. I don't know if they got hit by Thunder Boggle, but I think Law and Zoro did. So it's like they're Law eating. Zoro, yeah, yeah, Law, yeah. They're eating Yonko attacks when the Yonko are trying to take them out. And people are, I mean, yeah. people are saying, oh, Killers are more impressive than Kid. I mean, sure, that's fine, but it's like, that doesn't mean Kid's not nice. I think with Kid, a big thing was coming into the rooftop, or especially yeah. like the fight, essentially. Yeah. The expectation for Kid was when we see Kid fight, he's going to be an equal to Luffy. Luffy yeah. That hasn't really been the yeah, case. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But regardless of that fact, he's still very strong in his own right. That's yeah. why like, he's able to, you know, he can't conventionally hurt Kaido using punches, but he found another way by compressing and compacting Kaido. That's his method and that's how he's going to um, injure him. And that's literally how it worked, right? He's now fighting Big Mom. He's catching Big Mom's sword, saving Nami, Usopp and Tama. These guys... He's going on to fight Big Mom uh, later on. We're going to see that yeah. probably in the coming, chapter, coming chapters and stuff like that, right? So, like, yeah. Kid is very strong. Is that I think a big thing is that a lot of people were expecting equal to Luffy. That never happened, but just because he's not equal to Luffy doesn't mean he's weak. Exactly. Um, you know, and I do think, and I actually I do think, right, because a lot of people were saying on the rooftop, oh, Kid wasn't damaging Kaido. Despite Ka Kaido himself saying yeah, that you've he learned and found a way to get through my defense and stuff like that, yeah, which was, clearly yeah. implies he was hurting him. But it's more so, I think, it's like his attacks don't look great. Like if you're doing wrestling yeah. moves, they don't look cool, right? It's not the same as a Gamma Knife or Injection yeah, Show, exactly. like Dragon Blaze or <laughs> Kong Gatling. Like these are some crazy, aesthetically pleasing attacks. Or yeah. the, even the Scythe of Sonic, that was crazy. That, that, the blades tough, yeah. expanding, getting so big going through the dragon like that the sonic effects like aesthetically i understand like it might not look as cool as those guys but it doesn't matter like the way it's portrayed is like kid is doing like damage against exactly. kaido i think we're kind of on the same page in which well you think big mom's gonna go down i don't think she's gonna go down this arc yeah but i do think that i can see their fight going off and then kid and law are somehow able to give her a scar and i think that that should honestly shock the community that should be a big deal that definitely is a huge though, considering Big Mom hasn't been um, conventionally injured except for the exactly. whole uh, Mother Perfect. Caramel picture. Of yeah. course, a lot hit her with the counter shock that did damage, but like massive, massive damage, like yeah. the scar, like, like you're suggesting, scar, yeah. hasn't necessarily been done. Um, she will be damaged a lot as the fight carries on for sure. And I do think the way that like I can see it is that as the fight progresses, they get power ups. So like with Kid, we know he's a conqueror. He might get advanced conquerors, the Coton. Um, if that's the case, you'll also be learning how to flow his haki through the fight. 
Yeah. Um, you know, just extreme conditions of battle, like you know, the haki blooming. That's how it kind of works. Uh, with law, he could advance haki, maybe, maybe ad- armament somehow. Yeah. But I can mainly see his del fruit improving as the fight carries on. Oda could write it in a w- in a believable way, where these two, maybe from some outside help too, right? Like that could yeah. happen. Like you know, similar to like you know Yamato stalling Kaido for Luffy, something like that, right? Put in some little damage whatever right it doesn't really matter them, yeah. but prime the primary um players would be kid or law maybe they share the win something like that and then they can both rise to the level of yonkos after one or, or they could be respected as those like yonko fifth, candidates fifth, or however yeah. the hell that happens yonko you know candidate. okay i see what you mean exactly let us know what i think about kid where you guys have him ranked and stuff uh what do you think his his role for the story is it's just overall like analysis on kid and uh, Zayj, do you, I know you said last time, do you have anything like any uh, upcoming videos or projects you're thinking of doing, you know, and dropping and stuff like that? Oh, um, off the top of my head, not really, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, uh, actually, based when we first recorded this, I had the whole Marco yeah. video coming up, <laughs> which I've already uploaded yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, go check that out. Basically, on yeah. Tuesday. So, yeah, you yeah. guys can check that out if you want. Yeah, y'all let us know what y'all think about the video, but uh, obviously check out Zage's channel. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all, so. Alright, peace.